Hi, I'm Eric Baim. I'm the curator of aircraft here at the Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum. We have 27 airplanes in the collection, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes to see one of them today. Now, a lot of people come visit the Intrepid to see fighter jets or, or maybe attack helicopters or maybe something really cool like the A-12, but I want to talk about an unsung hero, the T-34 Mentor, a training airplane. After World War II, the Beach Aircraft Corporation, like other aircraft corporations in the States, were no longer building airplanes for the military. They designed the Beach Bonanza, and they thought they would capitalize on a lot of the pilots coming out of the military that may want to fly airplanes in the civilian world. Beach also, on their own, decided to upgrade the military's training airplanes. They took their Model 35 Bonanza, which was made as a four-place civilian airplane, and they developed the T-34. They narrowed the fuselage, made it more streamlined. They took the four seats out, and they put the seats in tandem for a pilot and a student. This airplane is fully aerobatic, it's fast, and it can teach people how to fly. Now this T-34, though retired, still is teaching people about flying, and we use it in our summer camp programs where we bring the students out and let them get right inside. Okay, if you're a pilot and already know how to fly, this is very basic to you. There's instruments, of course, that show you how high you're flying, how fast you're going, your attitude, and the direction you're going in. Of course, there's radios and engine instruments as well. Now, everything is pretty basic. I've got the throttle over here and engine mixture controls under your left hand. In my right hand, I have what's commonly called the control stick. And down here on my feet are the rudder pedals. So the movement of the stick is quite simple. Side to side is roll control, and these move the ailerons out on the wingtips. Back and forth is pitch control, and this moves the elevator back on the back of the airplane. Forward is down, and back is up. Then on my feet, we have the rudder pedals. This moves the rudder back on the, back on the vertical stabilizer of the airplane. So if I push forward with my right foot, the rudder will move to the right, and I will yaw right, left foot, yaw left. Well, now I'm in the back seat. Everything is identical back here to the front seat. Generally, the instructor would sit back here with his student up front. If you were in the Air Force in the 1950s to the early 60s and wanted to learn how to fly airplanes, you were going to learn to fly in the T-34. Now, if you were in the Navy in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and into the 80s, you learned to fly on the T-34. Even today, the T-34, upgraded with a turboprop engine called the T-34C, is still in service with the U.S. Navy. Now, the T-34 may not be a supersonic fighter jet, but it played a really important role in teaching thousands of future jet pilots how to fly. For more behind-the-scene videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.